Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Grand Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we're back at the uh, train yard here, or whatever you call it, the uh, Central Transport Hub. Watching the uh, the uh, soybean prices here, it's starting to go down. It reached uh, 2705, and um, it's really starting to go down now. So I'm going to actually save my game real quick. I don't think I have yet. Uh, so I think I'm going to take the soybeans on over there and sell them. Um, so let me start filling here. I've got uh, 141,000 liters of uh, canola left and 136 of soybeans. So I think I'm just going to fill just this one car, get 120 in here. I'm not worried about that other, you know, just over 10,000, what, 10, 15,000 maybe. So I'm just going to sell one full car here. The price started going down. Uh, and um uh, i don't know i just i'm kind of wanting just to get rid of them just to get the money it's not over three thousand where i'd want it to be but uh it's still higher right now and it is going to go down more so uh there's no sign of it going up anytime soon even the uh canola price has uh, stalled out at uh, 1720 it, it had gone up and then it went back down so I think we'll be fine. I think I think 2.3 million dollars will be just fine. We're actually gonna make a little more here, so that canola price, yeah, it's uh, it's tanked out. It's uh, well, it's in the red, 1721, but I'll hang on to it. Maybe we can use the money we make off it to get another combine in the future here, because that is definitely gonna be uh, in the future in the works. Uh, and we can do some work for the other farmers, uh, I guess, maybe between now and then. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of time left, so. But hopefully we can get this in over there and uh, make a little bit of money. Probably should have hit that brake sooner. Come on, baby, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, I need to practice driving this train, apparently. Yep, I'm already past my uh, deal here. There we go. All right, let's check the price again. And yeah, I see that it's already down to 2703, so let me sell just this one. I should get it for that price, and it should hold at that price until. Uh, it gets done selling this one car and so far it looks like it is now as soon as that gets done emptying there it goes it starts dropping so all right well we got the 2.6 million i think that's uh i think that's a fair amount let's take the train back over to the station and park it and uh we'll go over what we're gonna what we really want to get uh on this big bud dlc through the train station. Wish I had a bell. Oops. You know, like a tab out of it and stuff. not tab out of it but uh you know just a ring you know ding 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 wish i had one i don't think there is one all right so uh let's see the prices again here yeah so uh, the canola that we have is i had i really don't like the price of it i could take it to denton bakery i might do that i might take that to denton bakery where's the let me turn the train off i got a truck under here already 
Soybeans, no, I don't want to take those anywhere, I don't think. Well, let's check the prices. Twenty-six ninety-five at Mary's Farm. That's a long way down there just to go for 16, what, what was it, 16,000? Yeah, I'm just going to wait off on them. Uh, 141,000. I may take this to Denton Bakery, just take some canola over there. I wonder if I can back out of here straight without getting stuck. I will say these shorter trailers fit under here better. Those red cramp trailers, they get caught on that thing. and I don't know, whoever uh, designed this little empty and spout needed to make it taller. Let's see, where am I going? Denton Bakery, I guess, with this. Canola. I wonder how much I'm going to have left after this. Let me check. Let me back this guy out. Let me get that other truck back out here. See, I think I had 141,000. That should be true. two truckloads. Almost exactly two truckloads. And if I sell them at the same time, I'll get them for the same price. So let me get this truck. Let me see if I can back him out of here without derping it up too bad. I don't think I'm going to even attempt to back him into that spout. I'm just going to go out on the other side and drive back in. Okay, how much have I got left? Yeah, 71,000. I'll have two full truckloads. This is good. So let me go ahead and drive this one down there. Let's see, Denton's Bakery. I think it's the one that's flashing down there because they want uh, Sunflower. And we already sold... I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode. I went ahead and sold the wheat. Um, and I had sold the barley earlier, but I went ahead and sold the wheat and all the corn and sunflower that we had. Um, did not... Uh, I needed the extra money, the extra cash, and uh, so anyway, we're down to basically nothing. Let's see, where is this place? Right here, I think. Yep. That says do not enter, but you know what? I'm going to enter. Oop, when I knock a sign down, too, they might get me for that. Oop, don't drive off the side. Steady. Dude. All right. Let me back that up. I'm gonna pull over a little bit. Gotta get that other truck in here. All right. Black truck is full. Let's back it up. Might make a little bit more money here. And you know what? I got a beacon I can turn on back there. Not on the truck, but uh, I can turn that one little beacon back there on. I wish they'd put beacons on all the trucks, you know? Because you might use uh, all the trucks for a different task, and you know, you need beacons on them. And I know this isn't a real exit here, but I'm making it one. Yeah, I'm running the stop sign because we gotta. This is like smoking the bandit type stuff here, guys. We gotta get this stuff sold. And we're not stopping for any smokies. I don't think there are any here, but. You know what I mean. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, you go forward, go on forward. There you go. Alright, got the combine sitting back here where we finished. Um. There's my little truck, and there's the two big trucks. Okay, we're tapping back and forth. All right, that one to that one. All right, let's start with this one. Let me check the price again just to make sure it's still 2093 at Denton Bakery, and that's where we are. Yes. Sell it. Next truck. Sell it. All right, maybe we can get up to $3 million. That's that is, Those are high hopes right there. We might make it to uh, 2.9, maybe. Maybe. 
Yeah, we made it to 2.9. The other one's still selling. Yeah, we just made it just above 2.9. All right. So 293 extra thousand. That'll get maybe one of the implements or something like that. Uh, tell you what, we'll go back. Uh, we, need, we need to do some cleanup work around here. I'll tell you what. Uh, we haven't even used this thing yet. I need to... We need to plant some uh, poplars and use that, make some wood chips. Uh, this is where we're going to start working on the forestry stuff, which we haven't started yet. I need to get him down there to do that. Um, I put some cedars and, uh, not cedars, well I did put the cedar in here, but I put some seed and fertilizer over here. Uh, going the wrong way, there's the other guy. We finished up the canola up here. Still got a, like I said, got a lot of cleanup work and organizing I need to do. Got all the guys still out in the field. But anyway, tell you what, we'll get out here and uh, we just made a pretty good profit. We'll go get us some uh, cupcakes over here at the Denton Bakery. Those are cupcakes, right? Or muffins? Those are muffins, I think. Home of the big McLarge muffin. Ooh, I bet they get a copyright for that. How did they get away with that? Home of the big McLarge McMuffin. Or, I said McMuffin. McLarge muffin. I guess maybe that's how they got away with it. I don't know, it still sounds like a copyright to me. But anyway, hey, we'll tell you what, we'll go to this American flag and we'll take a look at what we want to buy. Alright, the first thing definitely that we want to get is the uh, Big Bud 747. Um, boy, look at the maintenance cost on that. $780 a day. That's going to be expensive. Uh, configuration wheels, yeah, you can't put tracks on these. The price, this is why I wanted to uh, to sell some stuff. Uh, because of the price of this equipment. I mean, it's all big equipment, so you know the price is going to be up there. Uh, this is probably the most expensive thing, I would imagine. It's 405000 But look at that horsepower, 1,100 horsepower. You could pull anything on here with that. Uh, it's pretty got a pretty, pretty good fuel capacity, uh, and you can put twin wheels or triple wheels on it uh, besides the single wheel. So I'm, I'm liking how it looks right there in the picture. Twin wheels, that looks like the way to go. All right, that's, that's going to be numero uno. That's the first thing we want to buy. The next thing I want to get is this auger wagon, the Brent Avalanche 1596. Um, I like this thing because, not only because of the capacity, it's 53,000 uh, liters. That's the biggest auger wagon, or will be the biggest auger wagon on the game for the console. So, But you can also put crawler tracks on it. Look at that. Ain't that cool? So yeah, I want to get this. It looks pretty neat. This looks like a lot of the ones uh, around here locally that uh, that they use. So uh, I'm kind of excited about that. You can make it green or red. So uh, that's that's something. Looks like it holds uh, all of the crops. So I think we're good to go there. Oh, the Culti Plow, the Ar Argrisim Culti Plow Platinum Eight M. I'm kind of curious about this one. Uh, this one adds the plow state bonus with it. So if you had uh, periodic plowing turned on, you would just run this bad boy and it would cultivate and plow the field for you. Uh, I'm kind of curious about this one. Since it adds the plow state bonus, does it actually plow? Uh, and if so, can you allow create fields with this? I'm going to have to test that out and see if it works. Probably not. It's probably just... Uh, Probably just a cultiva cultivator that uh, adds that bonus to it, the plow state bonus. So uh, the next thing that uh, I'd like to look at getting is probably the plow, the Gregor Besson SP SL9. Uh, you have to have a special attachment with this one, and it's down there at the bottom there. Uh, the attachment's fifteen thousand. The plow itself is one hundred and thirty thousand. So. Uh, yeah, this, this equipment's going to be expensive because it's so big. Um, forgot the uh, to tell the price of the uh, Argo Wagon. It was 112000 by the way. Uh, the next thing, uh, there's another Big Bud tractor. Uh, it's the Big Bud 450. I may go ahead and get this one, too. It's only $225,000, um, but it's 500 horsepower. I'm, I'm going to have to look at the rating on all of the equipment to see if we want to get this or not. Um, let's be, let's just be honest, I'll probably get at least one, uh, just to show it off, so, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's 500 horsepower, and, uh, it's only 225,000, that's cheaper than some of the tractors on here. 
The Great Plains YP2425A. This looks like a pretty good sewing machine. It's not the biggest one. We'll get to that in just a minute. But uh, this one, it looks like uh, it looks like it does all of them. Check that out. The seeds down there. Wheat, barley, canola, soybean, uh, the oilseed radish, I'm thinking. Corn, sunflower, and sugar beets. So if you wanted an all-in-one planter, this would be it. Um, it's got a 18.2 uh, meter working width, which uh, I think is wider than the uh, the other stuff we have on here. Let me check that real quick. Go to this other sewer. Yeah, I'm making a bunch of popping noises. Uh, let's see the um, condor. What's the width on it? 15 meters. So this one's actually bigger than the Condor. And the Condor was the largest in-game one. So, um, and it has a 5,800 liter capacity for seed. Does it fertilize? That's the downside to this one, guys. This one does not fertilize. Uh, so far, all I see is just seed on that one. So, uh, but it looks like, you know, what kind of what they use around locally where I'm at. Uh, so, let's see, what else? Where's that big cedar? There it is. The Seed Hawk XL Toolbar. Now, this one does fertilize. It seeds and fertilizes. Uh, you have to have the air cart in the back to tow this one. It's got a 25.6 meter working width. This is the biggest cedar there. So, uh, but when you look at the air cart and the capacity... 34,500 liters on that capacity. I mean, you really can't beat that. But, hey, this one is an all-in-one. Right? No. Huh. Okay, so the, the toolbar will plant everything but corn, sugar beets, and sunflower. But the air cart will? The air cart will hold it wonder why it'll hold it if it won't plant it. Maybe you can tow that air cart behind uh, behind another cedar, maybe? I don't know. That's weird. You would think if the air cart could hold those seeds, that the machine would also plant them. But maybe not. Or maybe if you add the air cart on there, it will plant them. I don't know. We're going to have to test that out. Because the, the seeds up on the toolbar don't show corn, sunflower, and sugar beets. But the air cart does. Hmm. All right. Going to have to look into that one. Yeah, that's different. So anyway, there's more uh, implements out there, you know, that they're coming out with. Uh... They've got a manure spreader and I think some cultivators, stuff like that. I won't be getting those right away, uh, but I would like to show them off. So I may just go ahead and lease them or something just to show them off. And uh, and uh, we'll, we'll get, get farming with the big bud and uh, break out those big implements and uh, get to work here. We've got $2.9 million. We may go ahead and buy that equipment. You know, we're going to get to that stuff eventually anyway. So uh, we may go ahead and buy that and... Uh, call it a day you know go big or go home so uh anyway guys uh the next episode will be the uh, first look at the big bud dlc uh, hope you guys uh tune in for that one uh hoping to get all the equipment to show off to you and uh, get to use them a little bit so uh until next time guys remember you reap what you sow it's matt from the grain arcade we'll see you guys later